What is going on everybody? It's Tuesday night. We are starting the hunt off a little late today. Um, just holiday stuff going on, this, that, the other, but uh, we're going to do uh, a little late night hunting tonight again. Uh, hit up a couple Walmarts, a couple Targets. Um, I've pretty much secured most of the stuff that I've wanted and been looking for, thankfully, after that party wagon. Um, I don't think the Black Series new figures are dropping yet. They should be coming out really, really soon. I know like Dorkside Collectibles and these few other uh, places are shipping theirs out now, so the supply is there and it's getting out to the masses. It's just now us finding them. Um, but I got a couple buddies that are looking for some wrestling stuff. And um, yeah, just kind of want to see what's out there tonight. Um, so we'll pick it up at the first Walmart. We'll see what uh, goodies we could find and uh, hope and wish for the best. So we'll see. See you guys when we get to Walmart. It is super dark out, so really don't know how well this is picking me up, but uh, here we are, Walmart, first stop, um, walking up, gonna see what kind of trouble and what kind of goodies we can find, and um, yeah, so here we go, first stop of the night. All right, so we made it in already, it looks like we definitely missed out on some real goodness. Because there's not much left in this thing. Yeah, it's really gonna miss out on much. Short Trooper. Looks like it's the only one. Missing, but we're definitely gonna go down the aisle and see what we can find. All right, so we made it down the main aisle. I'm expecting to find like 40,000 party wagons just then sitting on the shelf with a big note and a middle finger being like, ha ah, now look, you found them, so they're everywhere. But um, not looking like that as of yet. I haven't made it that far down. But really, I mean, they're, they're definitely getting uh, more and more stock compared to how they've been. But it doesn't look like there are any turtles here. So that is actually a good thing for me, I guess. So I don't feel bad. Wrestling, E-Man. And uh, yeah, that's really it. So we're gonna do a little digging and see uh, what they have um it doesn't look like much though we're definitely gonna go to another one or two tonight and uh we'll pick it up at the next stop guys yeah. all right so i picked it back up because uh that's kind of new not on shelf scan to buy now so that's pretty cool Hit up the collectible Funko spot. Um, really not much here as usual at this one. This one's pretty spotty for Funko. We get good with other stuff though. But uh, that's new. The Rock. I mean, for the art series, this is probably one of the better ones I've seen, I feel. Still not getting it. But uh, yeah. That's pretty much it though. All right, guys, really leaving this one now. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna pick it up again. And I'm just gonna grab me a beverage and uh, move on down the road. All right, so first Walmart will say mediocre. Nothing great. They did not not have stuff, but I don't even know that made sense. But uh, yeah, so we're definitely gonna go to another one or two tonight. Um, probably two more. Um, no party wagons, no Ninja Turtle stuff, same wrestling, same old everything um like i said they had that star wars uh power panel or shipper or whatever shipper uh only thing ravaged from there was the shore trooper which is kind of crazy um don't really want moff gideon the incinerator trooper is kind of cool and the armorer was you know the armor so um not that there's anything wrong with her you know i just don't have any interest in that character um but uh yeah so i'm pretty much expecting to see like the same crap at the next two walmarts except for the possibility of the um party wagon and um uh, probably some more like legend stuff but uh other than that i don't think we're gonna see anything new or exciting but hey if we don't know we won't know if we don't look so i'm setting myself up for some excitement hopefully because i'm not expecting much and uh yeah so uh we'll see definitely uh 
the Walmarts don't know about the targets. Um, but, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Pick it up at the next stop. See you. All right. So, we're at Target, right? Thought it was going to be Walmart. Forgot I drove by one. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, just keeping you guys on your toes. You never know where we're going to wind up, you know? Can't get complacent and just, uh, hey, we're going to wind up at a Walmart. And boom. Target it is. But uh, just going to go in there and see what they got. Um, I know the new the newsroom four pack is not supposed to be coming out till like next year, which is like weeks away, anyways. But uh, you never know. I'm just gonna go in there and goof around, see what they got. Uh, just add a target or two to this mix because I honestly forgot that I'm, I have to drive by this one to get to the other Walmart. And then there's also a Target by the Walmart we're going to, so there might be another Target, but definitely two more Walmarts. So uh, gonna get up inside, see what kind of trouble I can get into, and uh, what kind of goodies we can find so we'll see you guys inside all right so we made it up inside so looking like legends are pretty stocked <clears throat> no way home suits rogue magneto apocalypse eternals all the fantastic fours some mortal kombat some joes Transformers. Shit ton of Spider-Man No Way Homes right there. These things are freaking everywhere now. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus the other ones over there. It's a lot. Um, but that's pretty much it for here. I'm gonna swing around the other side and see what uh, they got over there. All right, so I made it down the other way. Um, usual Jurassic Park. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, nothing crazy, Revelations. They Look, they got the uh, pack. They're here because they're pretty banged up for the most part. That's a pretty nice one, though. Um, zero for Star Wars. I'll take that back. The typical uh, Lando. And uh, that's pretty much it, though. I'm going to check out the uh, collectibles and uh, move on from there. I made it down the collectible side. They, they got a lot of stuff, but uh, nothing we're really looking for. Chrome Domes, King Kongs. They got the Karate Kid 2-packs way down below. Lots of them, too, because they're horrible and nobody wants them. Um, little Grogu waving at us. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you again. Can't wait for this to drop soon. Oh, actually, the Boba Fett. I think it's, what, this week, I think. Book of Boba Fett comes out. They got the what if black light shirts. Pretty cool, not my thing though right now. If they had that Spider-Man one that I saw in Sleeping Collectibles video, I would probably grab that, but I don't see that yet down by me. Um, more of the packs. They got the art series pops and some typical other crap. But um, that's pretty much it, all right. Definitely moving on down the road. All right, so take that back. I really love Cad, Cad Bang and Toto, so I'm really grabbing one of these bad boys. Because I do have, I think, all the rest of them. So this is coming home with me. Dust and black light pops, too. All right, here we go. Stop number three, Walmart number two. Um... See what kind of trouble again, what kind of goodies we can find here. Um, expectations are not that well. So let's see what happens. They do have a epic shit ton of bikes, but uh, let's see what they got inside. All right, so other entrance was locked. So we were trying to go up in again on the other side. So here you go, Walmart number two. See you guys inside. All right, so we made it inside. There's really not, honestly, much here at all. We got the Camp Cretaceous, Jurassic Park, T-Rex. Only thing new that I haven't seen before is these guys right there. It's actually kind of cool. Ghostbusters, G.I. Joes, those G.I. Joes. Fantastic Fours are everywhere. Uh, that's all they got for Legends. Revelations, 
Got some wrestling stuff, and that's pretty much it, though. So I'm gonna check out the collectibles, NECA, and then uh, definitely gonna move on down the road. All right, made it to the collectibles. Not much, as usual. They do have uh, these guys, but uh, we don't need them at the moment, so we're good. But uh, really, not much going. Usual masks and all that shit. Guarantee that nobody picked it up still. Nope, it's still here. These guys are just hanging out. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I don't know if we're gonna hit up one more or if we're gonna call it a night, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. All right, so we are going to make uh, two more stops, I lied. Uh, the target of the Walmart were right there, so the hunter in me would not go home and be able to sleep peacefully if I did not come and check them out because I would be thinking the whole time that there's like the holy grail of stuff sitting at both these stores. So for me to sleep peacefully tonight, I am going to check both these stores. Um, also, I got a front prime spot. I got some lighting finally. And um, I don't know, this could be signs or this could be literally nothing and we're gonna find absolutely nothing in there and it's just gonna be like whatever. So uh, we're gonna get up inside this Target and then we're gonna go to the Walmart and then we are really calling it quits. And uh, we pick this up in a, maybe tomorrow or the next day. So uh, see you guys inside. Yeah, I made it inside. Down by the uh, collectibles and that stuff. They got Goliaths, frogs, wing nut screw loose. Definitely a crazy restock on some, some old stuff from them. The uh, Star Wars side did not have anything, but we're gonna go check out uh, Legends and see what's over there. All right, so here you go. Got some wrestling, got some of the uh, AEW still. Masters of the Universe, same stuff. And really, that is like pretty much it. Um, I have really no idea where the Marvel stuff went, so I'm gonna scope the other side and see what's over there. All right, so we found the Legends, same old stuff. We got a uh, hidden vulture down there. Section's like destroyed. Spider-Man No Way Home. Two suits. They got those. Same, same, same. We're gonna check out collectibles real quick and uh, get out of here. All right, so we skipped the uh, NECA section over there at that Target because it was just literally the same crap. There were a few people around and I didn't feel like waiting around for uh, them to move just to show you guys the same stuff you've seen over and over again. So we're at the uh, last stop of the evening for sure now. Um, Walmart, I believe this is the one the other night that showed that they had the party wagons in stock, but they weren't out on the shelf. So, I don't know, maybe we'll see some more party wagon action. If there is a very good box one, there's more than likely a chance that I'm going to grab that and return the crappy one that I have. So we're gonna go up inside, see what they have, and I really think I might purchase a couple extra turtles if they have them too. And um, yeah, because I think I have Raph and Leo out, so I need Donnie and Mikey. So that's pretty much it, guys. All right, we are going to get up inside and see if they got anything. All right, so we made it inside. I got a crazy pimple on my neck that I've been messing with when I need to leave alone, so that's what happened. Um, they don't have shit. Spin. They literally have like nothing. Like, here you go, crazy pegs. Oh, here you go, two turtles. Two turtles, Leo. Uh, and uh, they have um, moth, stormtroopers, and the armor again. And that is like freaking it, you guys. That's freaking sad, this one. Holy shit. Now I kind of wish I just went to Chick fil A and went home now. But, uh, yeah, that's freaking really it, guys. All right, we're probably going to just swing by the uh, collectible section and just see what they got for shits and giggles, but uh, more than likely nothing. And uh, we're going to get out of here. All right, guys. All right, like I was saying, I shouldn't even wasted your time or my time coming by here, but that's like it. only cool thing over here is that Simpsons game again. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, we're wrapping this up tonight, and uh, pick it up later. See you then. What is going on, everybody? It's Wednesday. We are back on the hunt. We have the sun today. We're not in the uh, middle of the night out there uh, doing whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, you're gonna hit up a Target or two today, maybe a Walmart, and um, head on because uh, 
I realized I use uh, Epic now in the wrong uh, terminology because I really do have a Epic mail call today. Um, hopefully today. It says it's out for delivery. Um, this is probably one of the uh, bigger purchases to date for me. Um, definitely a super big boy purchase. Um, obviously, you didn't get this when it was out for retail because of um, lack of space and um, more than anything, just lack of space at the time. Um, I hit the point where I didn't want to wait anymore for this thing, just for the fact of, I don't know, just didn't want to not be able to get this eventually. Um, it's Ghostbusters Lego Firehouse. I pulled the trigger. I bought one. Um, yeah. Immediately regretted buying it. Definitely not going to lie about that. It was a big boy purchase, like I said. Um, when I have it in hand, I know that shit will matter. I'll just be happier than a pig and shit. And um, it's not getting built anytime soon, so please, don't start with the Lego Lounge. And start hounding Seth on his page. Get Diamond Dave on the Lego Lounge because this thing's going to stay in its box for a little while because I do not know where it's going to go yet. Um, but yeah, target time. Ended up at Walmart. Need to grab some lunch still. And um, yeah, still have some other mail calls coming too. I think uh, my loot crate shipped. I'm not sure if it's the second crate or if I'm getting my second first box again because I ordered two of each. Um, both, one in a large and one in an extra large because I don't know how their sizing goes sometimes. Sometimes their shirts, I'm a skinny, fragile guy. So for me to like order a large and it to like be tight on me, it freaks me out and just, I don't know. I'm frail and I'm skinny. So I like a little bit of bagginess to my shirts. Um, so the XL in the first crate was freaking huge. So I'm really happy that I got the large coming because that long sleeve shirt is sick. Almost used Epic again. But um, yeah, all right, rambling on again. Haven't even been inside Target yet. Um, just enjoy talking to you guys. It's fun. Um, yeah, all right, see you guys inside. Okay. All right, so I made it up inside. Usual stuff, nothing new or exciting. You know, a couple of uh, meter demands, not meter demand, muck man. Meter demand is in the mail. I can't wait to get that. They got a uh, artist Mikey. It looks like there's even a couple of these big boys now. But that's pretty much like it though, for the most part. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll work our way down to the action figure, see what they got. All right, so we kind of skipped the uh, action figure section this time around. Um, a, a lot of people down there, they really didn't have anything special to report. Um, I was really hoping to find those freaking Black Series. Mando Wave would have been freaking sick, the new one. Um, gonna go check out the other Target down the road. Probably gonna call it quits for the day. Um, it was like we already went everywhere last night, so highly doubt that the Walmarts have anything new. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Like I said, we're gonna do one more. The sun is freaking killing me right now. Um, definitely gonna help another Target. And then, uh, call it quits. All right, guys, see you when we get there. What is going on, everybody? So here we are, final stop of the day, Target. I got me some food, a little PD cube. got me some chicken tendons. They were delicious, stuck, stuffed. Don't want to get out of the car, but we're doing it. We got to go on the hunt. Um, yeah, hoping that uh, possibly, that, like I said, that new Black Series line's dropping. I've seen people find them at Target. Seems like it's usually the West Coast, and we are out here on the East Coast. So uh, probably got another week or two, or you never know could very well walk in there and then be on the shelf um excuse me the uh firehouse has not been delivered yet hoping that by the time i get home it's there uh but this is like i said the final stop of the day uh yep so i'm hoping it's be we end this thing on a high note uh probably we'll do another hunt or two maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll see um but yeah pretty much it guys um all right, so I made it inside. I uh, did a little scoping around. The aisles were a little packed a minute ago, so just did a little pre-scouting. <clears throat> Honestly, nothing new, nothing too exciting. So this is gonna be a, a quick one. Um, only thing that I've seen that's really cool, 
that if I had room for is this big boy. So some of the old Jurassic Park stuff are, are re-supplying, uh, but uh, that's pretty much it though. Really nothing uh, crazy or exciting to report. I was hoping that we would come across something. These are on sale though, finally. 2309 for those interested. Save yourself not even $10, 990. Just take the $10 off, guys. Come on. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. All right, sorry, I lied. Forgot about this side. Um, looks like some of these things are getting some restocked. Is that the, uh, yeah, Red Sun Superman? We got uh, same wave still. They got the vulture. That's really it though, guys. The neck section looked the same. They do have the ground chucks and the uh, wing nut two packs. <clears throat> but uh, that's pretty much it. So I think we're gonna end this for now and we'll pick this up later. See you guys at the next stop. All right, so I keep forgetting stuff today. Uh, hitting up the neck section. Nothing over on this side. That is pretty cool, though. Love me some Duff beer. And then all the typical stuff still. Nothing nothing new. Nothing too crazy. But, uh... Like I said, these things get zero love. Because they don't look good. But, uh... Alright, this is really it. And, uh... I'm going to pick this up later. What's going on, everybody? So, that is it. Wrapping up the hunt week. Um, wasn't that eventful in the stores this week. Mail calls were epic for me. I probably got my favorite purchase to date in the mail the other day. Um, you heard me talk about it already in the video, so you guys pretty much know what that is. Um, that was my last big boy purchase of the year. Um, so this week it was probably, I think I got four things. Three of mail, three mail calls. One was an in-store pickup. Um, you know, stores, it's definitely looking stocked. It's just not stuff that we're really looking for. Um, the first thing that I picked up was, the only thing that I picked up, I should say, in stores was the Cad Bane, the Funko Pop, the uh, fall exclusive, convention exclusive. Um, cool little sticker, Cad Bane, Toto 360. Um, these are quick and easy to pop out of the box. It's kind of hard to see with the um, glare what's going on. Um, I really, I guess I still do buy Star Wars pops. I did buy that Stormtrooper. It's really just got to be something that's like really I'm into. Um, does he move, Toto? But yeah, that's pretty cool. Toto 360. You got yourself the Cad Bane. I think it's just a really cool character. Like, you know, a gunslinger slash whatever, you know, space thingy of honor. Really cool. Really, really cool fit. Um, so this was literally the only thing we picked up in the store this week. Um, don't know if we're honestly gonna find anything crazy new probably until maybe like the beginning of next year I do see like people are finding like I said that new black series wave but since we're in Florida the armpit of America um, we get everything last over here which I don't blame you Florida's fucking crazy so that's really I need a blast of my coffee um, and I also got I'm just jumping over here um, mail call time now I got the turtle t-shirt in the mail. Really just bought it because of the box. The box is freaking awesome. Um, the t-shirt's pretty cool too, not gonna lie. I think the other Funko one that I got, I do actually like a little bit better. I don't know why I thought that this was like on the back of the shirt for some reason. I'm like a weirdo. I like just like the little logo and then the big logo on the back. But, uh, oh, got it. And then, we're building up 
to the main finale. I did finally get my pre-order in from NECA. Mutagen Man and Ace the Duck. These guys are really freaking cool. Um, I don't know why I didn't order two at the time. Either I just didn't have the extra cash, or I just figured that these would probably be easy to find in store. I don't know what my reasoning was behind that. But this will probably be the uh, box that I open because the paint app on this is not the greatest. Ace's got like some weird stuff going on. I don't know if you can kind of see that in there, but whatever, they're fucking, excuse my language, they're toys. Sorry. Got some extra heads for both of them. Just a really cool pack. Um, so we're pretty much all caught up to date right now on all the figures that are like physically released in the States. Um, I have seen people buying the um, pizza monsters and all that other stuff off of eBay uh, to get them here early. I did see yesterday that somebody had in hand in China the Frankenstein Raphael. So I'm not gonna lie, if I find one of those on eBay for like 60 to 80 bucks, I'm more than likely gonna pull the trigger because that I really want and want to have in here. Um, I really love that figure. The monster line, I never had them in the vintage ones. So like them re-releasing all these things now and like their crazy cool scale, I'm really happy with. Um, that is just all over the place right now with stuff. They also just released that uh, Pennywise, the man of many faces. I got a buddy of mine who's looking for one of those too. So if we come across him, we can grab an extra one for him. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, right now there's not much craziness out there. Um, I don't know. Holidays are upon us, man. It's crazy. Sitting here procrastinating because I don't know how I'm going to pick up this next box. Um, like I said before, too, in the video, um, don't start driving Seth crazy about the Lego Lounge, please. Um, even when I talked to him yesterday, he himself even said, we're going to have to get you on the Lego Lounge now. Um, I have no room for this thing yet. Like, zero, zero, zero room. Don't even know where the hell I'm going to put the box that it came in let alone build it and put it somewhere. Um, if I didn't have the vintage toy firehouse, I would have room for this over there, but I wanted that, and now I got the Lego one too. Um, like I said, I really, I've always wanted this. Um, since like the first time, like in the Lego store, coming across this thing, I was just like blown away. Blown away at how cool and big this thing was. Um, I know some of you guys are like, oh, Legos, now you're getting into Legos. Um, I've been into Legos for a while. I stopped for a long time. I got back into it. I shouldn't say got back into it. I got back into it a while ago, then I stopped because I just ran out of room for a lot of these things. And the few sets that I did were coming out that I wanted, I got, and then just ran, you know, ran out of room. Like the last big one I got was the tumbler. I actually gave that to one of my cousins because I had no room for it. Now they're doing the re-release of it. Um, I thought I had them over here, but they're not. So let me grab them real quick. Part of the reason too, for grabbing the firehouse Oh yeah, there we go. God, these things are dusty. I definitely need to dust the DeLorean especially. This was one of the, I don't know if it was this, it was probably either this, or I think it might have been the DeLorean. It was probably one of the first sets. Got fucking hair on it. This thing is dirty. Holy shit, Dusty. I mean, look how cool that is. Like, this is why when I started collecting way back, the, back, you know, when they started first coming out with some of these, like, my love for them. And um, partly the reason to get in this next thing was because of this little guy. All right, I think we're gonna have to do this with the camera. Just to give us a little bit more spice. Probably gonna fall over now. All right. Oh God, Marty, it's heavy. 
There it is. Oh, there it is. It's huge, right? Absolutely huge. This thing is monstrous. It is awesome. It is heavy. That's everything that's inside of it. That's what it looks like when you build it and open it. I am weak and I'm about to drop this freaking box because it is heavy as hell. Um, you got the boys, you got Slimer, you got the sign, you got Dana, you got Lewis Tolley. Oh uh, God. You got the library ghost keeper. I don't know who else is over there, I can't see. I don't know if that's the, is that a real ghost or is that a person down the bottom? Is that the taxi driver ghost? Yeah, it's the taxi driver ghost, zombie driver. So you got Stance, Spangler, Fankman, Zedmore, Dana, Tully, Janine, Zombie Driver, Library Ghost, Pink Ghost, Blue Ghost, Slimer. It opens up. It's 4,634 pieces. And it's fine. So, I am thrilled to have this. Again, I'll bring the camera a little bit closer to me again. No idea where it's going. No room for it. Um, I mean, I've watched this thing go, price go up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, I found one for a decent price, I felt, so I pulled the trigger. Um, it looks like it's factory sealed still. It's got the tape. It's got, like, the little, like, Lego L on it or whatever on it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, for the love of God, don't bother Seth. Or George, and tell them get Dave on the Lego Lounge, um, because I'm not building this thing anytime soon. Um, the really cool thing that I saw was actually on a, one of the Ghostbusters fan pages. There is a gentleman I can't think of his name right now. I'm going to remember it, and I'm going to drop it in like Instagram or something like that. I think it's Mike something. I think he's like one of the guys that like create stuff for Lego and puts it up and like has like for the fan vote to get it to be made. Uh, he does some crazy Ghostbusters stuff. Uh, he actually has, I want to say, the directions to build, I think it's this Ecto one. I don't think it's the super big one like that Seth was building, but I think it's the little guy one. Um, I guess it's the brick list, the directions, all that stuff to download. But he did a neutrino wand, a one one neutrino on and Legos which is absolutely unreal um I just lost my train of thought I don't know where it's going oh traps goggles and everything else so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try and reach out to him and see if um I can get like a brick list set list for the neutrino wand maybe like the directions too that's like something cool I'd like to try and build like on the Lego lounge if Seth and George would have me on there. Um, again, that's like down the ways in the future. You know, these guys are always shaking and moving and doing things. So, um, you know, scheduling and whatnot, I'm sure they have stuff, but like I said, I don't have anything to build anyways. So, um, I don't know if you guys also caught off the subject. Um, yesterday, Seth dropped a collector shot with uh, Mr. OG Geek himself. So he's starting a new little um, type of uh, one on one, like, you know, interview thing, which is really cool, really enjoyed. It was 50 minutes, it was really cool. Listen to him and Mike talk. Um, those two are really good friends. So them just sitting there shooting the shit was, was fun. It was very, you know, fluent, it worked, it was nice. Um, what Mike was talking about with Street Geek and what he's trying to do, like, sounds absolutely amazing, man. I wish him all the luck in the world. Uh, I've had the pleasure hanging out with him, you know, quite a few times now. He is definitely a smart guy, business mind, you know, all in around just a general great dude, you know what I mean? Um, that's the one thing I definitely have to say, like hanging out with like, you know, Seth, George, Humpty, and all these guys, like, just good people, man. Like, really, really good people. Um, so it's, you know, I wish Mike nothing but the best, the success in this. Um, it's also cool that he's starting these little, like, going to all these little conventions, because I have so much shit I want to get rid of too, buddy, so... I'm gonna have to fuck, jump on the bandwagon with you guys and get a freaking table somewhere and try and, you know, start streaming down the collection a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you haven't, I'm gonna drop the link. If you haven't seen it, I'll drop the link in my, um... 
description for uh, for Seth and for Mike's uh, little collector shot last night. It was really fun watching that. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I think I'll probably do one more video before Christmas, obviously, because we still got another week. I got some stuff still coming in the mail. Um, you know, today's Saturday. Uh, gonna actually go out with uh, Seth again today, do a little, you know, hunting, grab some lunch maybe, and um, bits and buttons, and we'll see where else we wind up. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Thank you very much for all the uh, love and support. Um, you know, I'm not one of those uh, bells and whistles and frills kind of guys, so this is just what you see is what you get with me. Um, more and more I get into this, you know, I probably would like to uh, maybe jazz it up, you know, somewhat better intro or whatever, but um, I'm happy with that. I've, everything I've done, I've made myself, you know, so it's cool. I enjoy that, you know, everything you guys are seeing is just for me. Um, and it's fun. It's cool. I really enjoy other reactions, your guys' comments and stuff like that. Um, really, just... All in all, it's been it's been a pleasure so far. Um, but yeah, again, please you know leave any comments, anything you guys are looking for, you know maybe want to see. I don't know, you know. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Again, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Uh, keep trying to get these videos out to you guys on a consistent basis. Um, and like. I'm excited for the future. Just like I said again, just seeing what these guys have in store and what they're planning for the future, it's it's interesting. It's like, you know, the sky's the limit, man. You guys, you know, don't give up on dreams. You got any kind of idea or something you want to start a business or a product you want to get out there with social media and with everything. I mean, there's no way not to give anything a shot nowadays. You know what I mean? Um, Try it. Reach out, do some networking, put it out there. You never know, man. You might explode overnight. And, you know, I just don't know. Like, it's just, it still blows my mind that I have, like, over a thousand followers listening to me rant about toys and about other stupid crap, you know? Um, it's cool. It's really cool. Um, just shows you how much, how many people are like you, you know? Like, it's cool. Like, we don't even know each other personally in the real world. Some of you maybe I've met once or twice, depending on conventions, because I know I've run into so many people at these conventions, you know, before I started doing YouTube that know Seth and know Mike. And, you know, I've always been the, the uh, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? Like a, a guest or a cameo appearance in, um, you know, both their videos. So it was, especially the first couple of times, people like, hey, Diamond. I'm like, whoa, 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 you know? Throwing back to people, you know, recognize you or whatever, and, you know, Seth and Mike are so good with it and so who will go out of their way to take time for their fans and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so, you know, it's, I don't know where it's going. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place this morning. Um, I don't know. I'm ranting on for like 16 minutes now. Just felt like talking a little bit today. So, yeah, um, Ghostbusters also. We got the uh, Proton Pack fully unlocked, all tiers. So to all you Star Wars fans, <clears throat> that's what I say. Um, I don't blame you guys, because I thought that Rancor was pretty cool up until they showed that crappy one paint job, so. Um, that's cool. Uh, it's awesome that we hit every back, or, or hit unlocked every tier, because I know, sure, you guys, if you're in the Ghostbuster groups or anything like that, like we would kill for like a one-one. Or we'll be. I already have my gun, but there's a. I got a, one of the cheapo Walmart um, uh, ghost traps back there. Um, goggles were always cool too. Uh, like a sick PK meter, would I would love. Um, like one that. You know, the Seth uses a bullshit detector. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it, though, guys. Um, it's like I said, stores are looking stocked, just not stuff we're looking for. Like, the NECA two-packs are everywhere. So, wing nuts, screw loose, and uh, dirt bag and ground chuck 
seem to just be abundant, at least in our areas. Usually we're like um, scarce, so I'm hoping your guys' areas look good. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again for your support. First time watching, please subscribe, like, comment, get um, me out there into the interweb. Um, and so I just want to grow this, grow and grow this channel as much as possible. Um, like my my dream is with this would honestly be like and I want to get to the point where we can go to the conventions and like get up in like the NECA booth or like the Hasbro booth or like one of these places like even for like um, like the New York Toy Show like if I can get accepted into like the New York Toy Show eventually that'd be like the pinnacle for me that'd be like the icing on the cake um yeah, that's really what I want. I want to get out there. I like to just bring out like the information, show you guys what's going on. Like, be able to be awesome to interview like Randy from NECA, or I don't know, lots of people in the NECA world that I would like to. Uh, I can't think of names right now because I've like some drawn blanks. But they have some of like their key creators, you know, artists, the guys that are just straight up in charge of the turtles. Um, yeah. So. Um, no, I don't want this to just be hunt videos either, you know? I want this to evolve and to turn into a little bit something more. Um, obviously my own thing, I don't want to follow any of these guys' footsteps. Um, but they've paved one hell of a ground for us, you know, especially in my little circle of uh, YouTube hunter friends. Um, you know, George, Seth, Mike. You know, they, they do their thing, man. They get out there, especially uh, especially Seth. Um, but yeah, so again, I'm gonna done rambling. We're at 20 minutes of me just talking about four toys that I got in the mail. One, I, three, I, three that I got in the mail, one that I found out in the world. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this up, do a little bit of the editing and get this out to you guys, hopefully in the next uh, few hours. Uh, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, but yeah, that's it. Done rambling. Spider-Man's coming out. Um, really looking forward to that this week. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Next week we got um, Matrix, which I'm hoping that movie's good. I hope it doesn't blow because I was, I'm a big fan of that franchise. And uh, that's it, guys. So uh, happy holidays, and um, we'll catch you in the next round. See you later.